Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Report. A close call with some light rain today, but it didn't really amount to much. Uh, not very uh, much at all. Um, looking at the radar here, you can see this. Mostly the rain is mostly to the north of the area. There's some little coastal showers. This was actually, this is all, this is all very, very light. Like literally just a sprinkle, all right? There were a couple of light coastal showers that affected parts of our area and gave a hundredth of an inch to Central Park. Yeah, a hundredth of an inch. So, um, yeah, that's still going to be the driest month on record at Central Park. That's what it's looking like right now. Uh, with just a hundredth of an inch of rain. That was their only measurable rain at all this entire month. Uh, but it's literally 0.01. It's almost cheating at this point. Satellite imagery is down. We can't play the satellite loop because it just flashes like crazy. Don't want to do that. Uh, but you can see there's some clouds, but then you can see some less clouds over here. We have that warm front that is uh, moving through. You can see there's the symbol, warm front symbol on the map. So that's going to mean temperatures are increasing. They're already increasing. Um, and looking across the area, you can see temperatures are around 60 degrees out there. And, of course, in the alley, well, I made the mistake of having the air conditioner off today. When I got back, the alley was just brutal, brutal. I can show you what the alley was. Uh, yes, uh, 65 degrees in the alley. My apartment, it was just really just I should have had that AC on. That's what it is in this place. I should have known. Definitely will be using it the next two days for sure. Uh, I slip 60 degrees, and you can see light rain being reported uh, at I slip. But again, light rain. They're saying it very loosely. All right, I slip picked up 0.01. That was all they got today. So that's pretty much what they got. And you can see the temperatures have been pretty much steady uh, and rising. It's pretty much the low 60s. Um, and you can see the humidity definitely has come up a little more tonight. Uh, but that rain, literally, just barely anything, just 0.01. Uh, well, we're going to look at the precipitation here and show you. How much rainfall has fallen in the past 12 hours? You can see 0.01 at Central Park, 0.01 at JFK. Uh, some errant reading, I don't believe that, at Oakland Gardens of 0.20. I don't think that's even even correct. Uh, these could be correct, though. On the North Shore of Suffolk, they were actually got 0.04 at, uh, in Northport. Uh, I mean, this is pathetic. You see, we're just talking about very small rainfall amounts, even north of the city. Just 0 0.09, nothing for New Jersey. Philadelphia had its driest spell on record. That's still ongoing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, very little bit, a very tiny little bit of rain today. A little, a little, just, just literally barely anything. Highs, well, they're pretty much the current temperatures, mid-60s uh, and the lows. You can see the warmer air, by the way. If we pull this out, you can see the warm air off to the southwest. Got up to 70 in Philadelphia. Um, so that's kind of set the stage for the warmth tomorrow. Uh, lows, oddly enough, again, West Hampton wound up being warmer than some of the other areas. Uh, um, some mid-40s there in the uh, at uh, Islip, 45. Even some upper 30s in the Brookville area. And then the city, 51. And Jersey probably did not. And Jersey... Wow, got down to 28 in the Pine Barrens west of Tom's River. That's like the coldest spot, so I guess whatever the reason is. I'm amazed they actually were able to get that chilly last night, but they were. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, that little flirt, that little tease with a little bit of light rain. That's going to be it until uh, next month, until November. And the rain chances for Friday don't look very good either. Um, it's, it's just unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. So we're going to look at the climate statistics for today. You'll see Central NYC recorded 0.01 inches of rain today. This will end the spell of no measurable rain greater than a trace at 29 days. So second longest spell of no rain. Uh, uh, again, 0.01 uh, being recorded. That's still going to be the driest month on record at, ever at Central Park. Um, uh, we'll, I'll look at our statistics here. Ice slip. Ice slip. High of 62, low of 45, 3 degrees up below normal, above normal. Uh, and Central Park, just to show you that uh, 0.01 of rain there. 0.01. Since September 1st, only 1.59 inches of rain has fallen in Central Park. Supposed to see about 8.44. So this is a huge rainfall deficit. Uh, now I want to move this over to Philadelphia um, because um, you'll see here, and I put it up in a post as well. 
that uh, should be up here. Here. Um, well, Philly, we made it. Uh, it turns out that Philly was the low-hanging fruit, the easiest record to break. Uh, uh, so here we go. Here's uh, the record longest streak of consecutive days. I already made a post about this with no measurable precipitation in Philadelphia set. The last day of measurable rainfall at Philadelphia occurred on September 28th. Only a trace of rainfall has occurred since then, which occurred on September 29th and again on October 24th. No measurable pre pre precipitation has been recorded so far this month through October 28th. Thus, 30 consecutive days have passed without measurable precipitation, which sets a new all-time station record. The old record... Uh, 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 old station record of uh, 29 consecutive days occurred 150 years ago. So this is a 150-year uh, record. And the records of Philadelphia date back pretty... They date back almost as long as uh, New York City. They date back to 1871. So this is a big deal. I don't know why they called it the low-hanging fruit, but this is a pretty big deal here. Uh, it is official. So there you go. Record of, A record event report there. Uh, for Philadelphia, no rainfall, so it's just yeah, unbelievable. And then month, and their October will be dry. They won't have anything. It'll just be a trace of rain. It's going to be the driest October, I think, in every single climatological site there is, because there isn't really much over here. You have a few little light. It's all going to evaporate. That's we're not going to see anything. I told you we weren't going to see any measurable rainfall today. Point oh one is sort of cheating in a way, but whatever. Um. So let's, uh, and we had a lot of clouds, but then uh, in the afternoon, we got to get, in, get into some sunshine for a little bit, uh, some breaks in the late afternoon uh, on the south shore, mainly on the south shore. Um, see some of the cirrus there, uh, and then some alt cumulus, some breaks there in the clouds. Um, I have one more photo in here. Uh, yeah, this one was kind of interesting here. You can see the lower clouds and then the higher clouds up ahead there. It was kind of interesting to see. Uh, but anyway, um, let's go to the models now. We'll talk about the heat that we're going to be dealing with for the next couple of days here because this warm front moves through, and then this ridge takes over. You can see it's a big, strong ridge. That's going to give us plenty of warm weather uh, into uh, and through Halloween, and then the next cold front up comes through on Friday. And you can see, yeah, look what the GFS does. Poof. Where did the rain go? It's gone. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what it's trending like. We're not going to see any rain at all. Uh, uh, it looked like, our rain, it looked like we we're going to see some chances on Friday. It looks like now we're not going to get see anything, uh, which sets the stage for, again, another dry AMS, breezy conditions. I think I th think we see some red flag warnings in our future for sure. Uh, let's look, look at the HRRR. And see HRRR again. No rain, that's it, but you will notice that the, the, uh, the isobars have a orientation for a pretty decent west southwest to southwest wind which is going to bring in the warmth and the same thing for thursday as well um, that cold front is all the way back here you can see the rain just evaporating on that thing uh, but what we will have is a decent breeze from that direction and uh, we'll look at the dew points and wind flow you can see the little bit of moisture we have now but when the winds take on that more southwesterly west southwesterly orientation the dew points are actually going to drop a little bit, and that could mean an elevated fire risk. You can see dew points actually uh, kind of drop a little bit. Uh, they don't get that. You have, that again, that southwest to west flow, which means sea breezes will be limited. I think that's going to be even more so on Thursday. We're going to see that a west-southwest wind, so you're really going to have to be right at the shore to really get any kind of cooling. Uh, otherwise, I think a lot of areas are going to get close to 80 degrees. Um, temperatures... Not dropping much tonight. Tomorrow, yeah, it's going to be very warm, especially if you're in Jersey. Close to 80. <laughs> well into the 70s for uh, for Long Island. Uh, perhaps my area may get close to 80. That's why i got to keep that AC going. Uh, and then uh, it does drop it into the... F it looks like it does drop it off into the possible 40s tomorrow night. I don't think the alley is going to be cooling off. I think I'll keep my AC on. Uh, I'll be very surprised if it does. Uh, and then, yeah, Thursday is going to really be the hottest day. I think a lot of areas going to get close to 80, maybe even low 80s. Uh, and that's going to include a good part of Long Island, except for the South Shore, uh, which would mainly have 70s and out east. 
Um, it's still very, very warm, uh, really seasonably, ridiculously warm uh, weather. Record-breaking, in fact. I think the record for Central Park is 81. So we're going to probably break some more records. Why not? Uh, why not if we're doing all this already? Uh, I'll show you the GFS, too, as well. The temperatures here. And you can see Thursday is definitely going to wind up being the warmest day. And that cold front comes through. And Friday now, there's a cold front's a little slow. We still have temperatures well into the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. And with a west wind, no sea breeze on Friday. And notice how breezy it is. This could be a red flag warning day as well. Uh, and then that cold front comes through. Wind shift off to the north. And that brings uh, even drier air in and cooler air, at least, for the weekend. Um, at least the temperatures will drop accordingly. Uh, they will drop down into the 50s as we get to Saturday and Sunday. Um, but, yeah, we have a three-day stretch of some pretty warm temperatures, unfortunately. Uh, so, and I say unfortunately because it's not normal. and It's just making the drought and the fire danger so much worse already is. Obviously, plenty of high clouds around tomorrow. Same for Thursday, though. Maybe it has some less over New Jersey. Uh, and then Friday, we'll have to deal with some clouds to start. And then Saturday, hopefully, we can have a mostly sunny day on Saturday, hopefully, uh, before the Cirrus rolls in again on us. Um, this is, again, the low-resolution GFS. Let's go to the RGM model here. So this is the RGM model. And you can see RGM, again, not showing much in the way of clouds. It shows Showing just some high clouds. The GFS seems much more bullish with the high clouds. Uh, and then for Thursday, same deal. A lot of high cl There's going to be a lot of jet junk. It's going to be a pretty junky-looking sky, I think. And maybe hazy if we have smoke around. Uh, and then for Friday, at least the RGM clears it out toward the afternoon. So we'll have to see. But we got to get through all this heat first. And, uh, again, I'm really concerned about red flag, uh, the, the wildfires. It's... A, it's really amazing that it hasn't been worse, and it's really it's only a matter of time at this rate before we're talking about a huge wildfire. And I'm talking about like kind of wildfires they have out west. The kind of that's what we're going to see here. Uh, the longer this goes on, the more likely that's going to happen until we get some rain. Uh, so uh, I'll just go back to the HRRR. We can take a look at, at some soundings for tomorrow to show you what things look like at. We'll do two o'clock here. Uh, and uh, you can see the lines are pretty close to each other, but they're not touching, so there'll be sunshine, plenty of it. Uh, just probably not a nice blue sky, but there'll be sunshine, plenty of sunshine to get those temperatures to go up, and uh, we're going to have to watch those winds as well. So let me go to the Ventu sky as well. We'll, we'll take a look at the wind, wind gusts on here too, because honestly, I'm concerned about wildfire risk. So here we are for tomorrow in the afternoon. Nothing too terrible for tomorrow. I think the winds get worse on Thursday. Yep, they pick up a little more on Thursday. You can see winds gusting close to, uh, closer to 20 miles an hour, especially toward the afternoon. So, yeah, that wildfire is definitely going to be with us. And here we are Friday. Look at this, winds gusting to 30. So Friday, if any day is going to be likely to have a red flag warning, it's most likely to be Friday. Uh, uh, that's what it looks like, at least from here at this point. But, again, wildfire risk, very serious situation with that. Uh, and with very little rain, almost no rain at all. 0.01 is just barely enough just to slightly wet the ground. It, it, it's not going to do anything, absolutely nothing, to reduce the really dangerous situation we're in with the wildfire situation. And honestly, I think that it's only a matter of time. I think that we're going to see some pretty devastating wildfires uh, because of the lack of rain and the leaves coming down. It's just going to be a perfect storm. Uh, um, so you've been warned, so don't act surprised if there's a major wildfire in Long Island or New Jersey or upstate. Uh, things are just very dry everywhere across the tri-state area. So that's going to wrap things up. Have a good night.